good morning. My name, my name is Cliff. C L I F F. Before we go on, can you think of any animals? Can you think of any animals that begin with C? C, cat. L, lion. I, it's a difficult I. Let's think of I, 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 I. Iguana. And F, 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 fox. Cliff, cat, lion, iguana, fox and fox. Okay, now, where am I from? Am I from Greece? Am I Greek? No, I'm not. Where am I from? Am I from America? Am I American? No, I'm not. Am I from Australia? Am I Australian? No, I'm not. So where am I from? Well, I'm from a small country. Greece is much bigger. And it's in the north west of Europe. So it's a small country in the northwest of Europe. It's part of the United Kingdom. And to the east, you can find England. So where am I from? A small country in the northwest of the Europe, part of the United Kingdom, and next to England. Where am I from? Any ideas? I'm from Wales. I'm from Wales. I'm Welsh. I'm not from England. I'm not English. I'm Welsh, but I am British. So, where are we? Well, we're in Greece, and Greece is a small country. It's in the south east of Europe. It's part of the Balkans. And to the east, you can find Turkey. And to the west, you can find Italy. So, where is Greece? It's a small country, okay? It's in the southeast of Europe. It's part of the Balkans. To the east, you can find Turkey. And to the west, you can find, or is Italy there? Do you remember? Greece is a, a big country? No, Greece is a small country. It's in the north, no, the south, the south east of Europe. It's part of, do you remember? It's part of the Balkans. To the east, which country? To the east you can find Turkey, and to the west is Italy. There we go. Okay, now I want to show you some photographs from my home, and I'm from Wales. But these photographs are a bit of a mystery. So, how many photographs can you see? There are, there are four. But what can you see? Hmm. Can you see an animal? Maybe. Can you see some water? Maybe. Can you see a mountain? Maybe. Let's look at the photographs in a bit more detail. So, oh, now we can see the photographs. Now, I can see a castle. I can see some mountains. I can see a river. And I can see an animal. I can see a sheep. In the photographs, we can see a beautiful castle. Conway Castle. It's in the north of Wales. We can see high mountains. Snowdonia. They are in the northwest of Wales. We can see a river. It's next to my home. And we can see some sheep. Hmm. Why? Well, my home is a special place. There are wild mountains. Snowdon is the highest. 
and beautiful rivers. In Welsh, the word for river is Afon. In Wales, we speak two languages. We speak English and Welsh. There are a lot of castles. There are 600 castles in Wales. Castell in Welsh. And, and a lot of sheep. And 10 million sheep. So let's just look again and try to remember. My home is a special place. There are wild mountains. Snowdon is the highest. And beautiful rivers in Welsh. The word for river is Afon. There are 600 castles, Castech, and whew, how many sheep? There are 10 million sheep. Okay, I'm going to count to three, and you try to remember. One, try to remember. Two, try, try to remember. Three, and now we're going to have a quiz. Okay, so quiz time. Let's see what you can remember about my country, Wales. So question number one. What's the name of the highest mountain in Wales? Do you remember? Begins with S. Snowdon. That's correct. Bonus point. What's the name of the highest mountain in Greece? The highest mountain in Greece. Is it Parnitha? No, no, no. What's the name of the highest mountain in Greece? Olympus. Yes, Olympus is the highest mountain in Greece. Double bonus. What's the name of the highest mountain in the world? The highest mountain in the world. The highest mountain in the world is Everest. Okay, back to the quiz. Question number two. How many castles are there in Wales? And I will give you three choices. One, 100 castles. Two, 300 castles. Three, 600 castles. 100, 300, or 600. How many castles are there in Wales? Yeah, that's right. 600 castles. There are 600 castles in Wales. Okay, back to the quiz. Question number three. And do you remember that in Wales, we speak two languages. We speak English and Welsh. So question number three, is the Welsh word for river Afon? or Avon. Afon or Avon. Do you remember? I'll give you a clue. F, 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 f. That's right. The Welsh word is Afon. The Welsh word for river is Afon. I speak two languages. I can speak two languages, English and Welsh. How many languages can you speak? Can you speak two languages? Now, back to the quiz. And the last question, the big question, the really, really big question, and it's about the sheep. How many sheep are there in Wales? How many sheep are there? A million? 10 million? Or 100 million? How many? A million? 10 million or 100 million? That's right, 10 million. Okay, let's move on. How are you feeling? How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling a little bit. Hmm, can you see the word on the board? Can you make a word? How do I feel? That's right, I'm feeling a little bit hungry. I want to eat. Now, when I was a boy, when I was a boy in Wales, my grandmother made, made Welsh rabbit. Mm, Welsh rabbit. 
We always ate it in the evening, sitting in front of the television, the telly. But what is Welsh rarebit? I'm hungry. I would like to eat some Welsh rarebit. But what is Welsh rarebit? Well, let's have a look. If you want to make Welsh rarebit, you will need sliced bread, okay. You will need cheese, okay. You will need pepper, but not too much. And you will need mustard, but not too hot. So to make Welsh rarebit, you need sliced bread, cheese, pepper, and mustard. And what do you do? Well, you don't do this alone. No, no, no. With a grown up, with mum, with dad, with grandma, with grandpa, with a grown up, what you do is you melt some cheese in a pan. You put some cheese in a pan and you melt it like ice cream in the summer. You melt it. And then you add a little pepper and a teaspoon, a small spoon, a teaspoon of mustard and you stir it very, very well. Then you take the bread, the slices of bread, and you toast them on both slides, and then you spread the cheese mixture on the bread. Okay? And enjoy it, because this is what it looks like. Yes, Welsh rarebit is a kind of cheese on toast. A kind of cheese on toast. But let's see what you remember. So, to make Welsh rarebit, what do you need? You need... Sl sl hmm. You need cheese, you need... And you need... What are these words? Well, you need sliced bread, you need cheese, you need pepper, and you need mustard. So you need four things. Sliced bread, cheese, pepper, and mustard. Now, how do you make Welsh rabbit? With a grown up, mm, some cheese in the pan. What do we do with the cheese? What do we do with the cheese in the pan? Ah, maybe we melt it. We a little pepper and uh, a lot of mustard. Hmm, let's see if you remember. Do you remember the words? Have a look at the spaces. Okay. With a grown-up, melt some cheese in a pan, add a little pepper and a teaspoon, a small spoon of mustard, stir well, toast slices of bread on both sides and then spread the cheese mixture on the bread. Enjoy. Well, Thank you very, very much for today's lesson. What can you do? What can I do? Well, I can talk about my country. I can say where it is. I can describe my, my home. I can describe a place. And I can also now understand a recipe. I know how to make Welsh rarebit. Thank you very, very much. Goodbye. <laughs>